In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your coffee or breakfast drink to make some DIY recipes. First, we're going to be making a cellulite scrub. For this scrub, you're going to need coffee grounds, brown sugar, sea salt, and coconut oil. You'll also be needing a mixing bowl and measuring cups. First, you will take half a cup of coffee grounds and place it in the bowl. Then, you're going to add a quarter cup of sugar. Make sure that when you're adding the sugar, you get rid of any lumps. Then you're going to take your sea salt and add a quarter cup of that. <music> Lastly, you're going to add a quarter cup of coconut oil or an oil of your choice. When you are done, you're going to stir all the ingredients together. Mm. This smells... Amazing! The coconut oil actually makes this scrub smell like the Caramel Delight Girl Scout cookies. This is what your product should look like in the end. Then you're going to take an airtight container to store your scrub for future uses. Make sure to put a label on your scrub so you don't get it confused with any other products. This is a great scrub because it can help to redistribute fat cells to reduce dimpling, increase circulation, and can decrease the appearance of varicose Trying to wash off in a You can use fat. a scrub one to two times a week in the shower and rub in circular motions and then rinse away. Next, we'll be making a coffee and chocolate face mask. Yay! For this mask, you will need ground coffee, honey, cocoa powder, and whole milk. You will also need a mixing bowl and a tablespoon. First, you will add two tablespoons of coffee grounds, which can help tighten and tone your face. Then you will add in two tablespoons of cocoa powder, which has great antioxidant properties for your skin. Next, you'll add 4 tablespoons of whole milk, which has great cleansing properties for your skin. And lastly, you'll add 2 tablespoons of honey, which is great for firming and softening the skin. Then you're going to mix all the ingredients together until it's smooth. This is what it should look like. First you're going to place the mask on your face. And you're going to gently massage the product onto your skin. You're going to then leave the mask on your face for about 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse off. Lastly, if you're not a coffee drinker, save your tea bags. <laughs> After you drink your tea, place the bag in the fridge oh, until so cool. Good. Then take them out and use them for your eyes to help you land your under eye circles and decrease any puffiness. Look how relaxed everyone looks. Doesn't everyone feel great? 
I hope you guys enjoyed these DIY recipes, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.